bitch, I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. You a bad bitch. You, you a bad bitch. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have an anniversary chit chat. Get ready with me. My birthday is coming up. Shout out to all my Geminis. My birthday is coming up soon and I wanted to practice some makeup because I haven't really been in the mood to wear a lot of makeup. You guys know I go through phases and waves and stages with my makeup. So I had to practice a little bit so that I'm all ready for my big day. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, and hear all about all the exciting-ish and regular plans that I have for my birthday and what's been going on lately, please keep watching. So, I'm gonna be doing a birthday. Well, over here we call them anniversaries because I feel like your birthday is a special occasion. It's celebrated once a year. It's an anniversary. It's the anniversary of your birth. So, oh. Chloe's going. I call it my anniversary. So today I'm gonna be doing a makeup look for my anniversary. Um, I have not worn a full, full face of glam in a while. So let's start with eyebrows. You guys know I use my ABH dip brow. I'm gonna do this off camera because it just takes far too long. It's boring. I know you guys don't wanna see it. So I want to do a fun makeup look because my birthday is soon. Shout out to all my Geminis. Woo -woo. And I like to get a little jazzy for my birthday slash anniversary. So let's do a fun makeup look. It has been probably since Valentine's Day that I've done one. I don't know what it is, guys. It's just like the older I get, I'm not into eye makeup anymore. And honestly, if I had flawless skin, I probably wouldn't even wear foundation like I do now, but my acne has been out of control lately. It's probably because of stress, um, but you know, tis life. I do want to do some fun eye makeup since it's been a while. Y'all, that is my favorite song. I used to love this uh, mixtape by Nicki, so I'm so happy that she put it on streaming platforms. But anyway, I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette, and I will link this down below. The first color I'm going to put in my crease is in the Happy Glow Trio right here in the middle. It is a nude color that I'm going to use as a transitional shade to kind of give all the other shadows something to blend into. Now, if you guys have seen my other makeup tutorials, you know that when I'm wearing eyeshadow, I like to put my eyeshadow on first. I feel like I'm missing a brush. Hmm. Oh well, just gonna make do. I'm kind of excited to put on makeup. Like, does anyone else feel like that? <laughs> I really used to really, really be into eyeshadow. I used to always buy new palettes every couple of months. I don't know. When I stopped consuming so much, like copious amounts of beauty products, um, I just toned it down a little bit. And now I feel like I just buy makeup when it's my birthday or Christmas or when there's a really good sale. So I find that that helps to curtail my spending because I don't technically need all this makeup. But it is fun and it's nice for times like this when I wanna get a little jazzy. So I really want to do orange makeup on my birthday, but I want to buy some Hermes makeup and I have not purchased it yet. <laughs> so let's just, I guess we're gonna do a bronzy eye. So I'm gonna use the Seduce Glow Trio, which is right here. And I'm gonna use this shade right on the end. Now these shades are not, actually I'm gonna use the first one on the left side of the Seduce Glow. These shades are not named, which I hate, but this is like a gold bronze, which is always the color that I end up using. <laughs> because I just think goldy bronze shades look so nice on women and men of color. I should be doing something colorful for Pride Month. I don't even have any colorful shades in this palette at least. And my room redo, 
I think I told you guys probably last month that I had to redo the whole concept because I was gonna purchase some shoe storage cabinets and now they're discontinued. So I think I'm gonna do shelving for my shoes and I will sit in front of that to film. And then in the corner, I'm gonna do like a chaise lounge or something like that because I've always wanted one in my room. So I've ordered some of that and it's slowly starting to come in. But yeah, I had to literally redo the entire plans for that room. And that was a bit annoying because I had a whole little concept in my mind, but hopefully it's still gonna turn out beautifully. So I am excited for that. And I will show you guys as soon as the room looks more done because right now it just looks like a hot mess and nobody wants to see me film in front of a hot mess background i know i don't so let's talk birthday plans i really don't have any plans for my birthday this will be another birthday inside I'm gonna use my becca foundation i've started going out more but i'm just not ready to fully be outside also, because I've been inside for like a year, maybe and a half, I'm so used to being at home and I don't know, like I'm not ready to travel yet. I did want to take a trip somewhere for my birthday, but I'm not ready to get on a plane. I'm honestly just not ready to wear a mask <laughs> for hours. So that's why I haven't been anywhere this year and a half because I don't want to wear a mask for three or so hours. I just feel like, I don't know. I can put off traveling until I can do so comfortably. So it will be another birthday inside, just like last year. Last year, we actually had a karaoke party for my birthday, which was so fun because On having a huge karaoke party for all of my friends, but because of the Porsche Panamera, I put that off, and because we're still in it, I definitely won't be doing that this year. So maybe next year I will have a big party, but I don't know. If there's one thing last year has taught me, it's to really just appreciate the simple things in life, and so a small intimate gathering of a few people for my birthday is A-OK -okay with me. Um, I'm just happy to have health and life and happiness. I'm not doing anything special for my birthday. If you're a Gemini, what are you doing for your birthday? I would love to know. I may like go out to eat or something, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was already a homebody, but now I'm even more of a homebody because I just don't want to go anywhere. Like it's so, <laughs> I'm so used to being inside that that's all I really want to do. But hopefully by the end of this year, I will be able to travel somewhere because I am like fiending for a vacation. I don't even care if I just have to take like a five hour trip to Destin or something for a week. <sighs> I mean, last month we did go away for a few days. Um, we went to Hilton Head in South Carolina. So that was fun. Things like that, I'm just appreciating a lot, lot more. Another birthday at home. I don't know. I am enjoying watching you guys gallivant and travel. I can only just imagine what it's gonna be like when I try to, you know, re-emerge into normalcy whenever that is. Yeah, I am going to eat good food, make libations, relax, watch movies. I'll probably get all dressed up because I don't know, I'm one of those people where I don't need other people to celebrate my birthday. As long as I'm enjoying myself, that's what matters. So even if I'm not having like a huge celebration, if I have a good day, that's fine. We all know my birthday will involve pizza because that's my favorite food. <laughs> So I'll order my cake probably tonight and then plan out what we're gonna eat and drink. And that's a good day to me. I could have like a pool party or something. I don't know. I'm just not ready to be around a lot of people. But like I said, I am really enjoying seeing you guys go out and live your life and be happy and just enjoy 
you know, more of life, more than we got to last summer. So I'm enjoying watching you guys live life. I don't know. One of my friends just texted me and asked, what were my birthday plans? Nothing. <laughs> but can we talk about the fact that it's already June? The year is halfway over. <laughs> like stuff like that makes me sad when I think about the year is halfway over. And I'm still inside. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay. Now let's do some setting powder. If you guys saw my battle last month, I reviewed the Laura Mercier and also the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. And I ended up return. Oh, almost. I put that on my eye. <laughs> I ended up returning the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder just because I felt like the Laura Mercier kept my skin a bit more matte. So if you didn't see that video, I will link it down below. And in the midst of that review, I found out something very shocking and appalling. Stay tuned to the review to see what that is. So I'm still kind of on the hunt for the perfect setting powder. I have extremely oily skin and so it's really important that I have a setting powder that doesn't settle into fine lines or make me really oily quickly. But I'm not too happy with all aspects of it and I go into more detail in that video. So I'll link that down below. But I've been using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder for probably five or so years. I always switch it up because you guys know that I like to review things and I like to test things out just because I feel like I am definitely a creature of habit and sometimes I just want to see what else is out there. But I always end up coming back to the Laura Mercier. Time for bronzer. I'm still loving my Charlotte Tilbury Matte Bronzer. It is my favorite. I think I have a video on my channel when I was testing out the Fenty bronzer. Didn't like that. Where I've tried the um, NARS Laguna. Didn't necessarily like that. It wasn't deep enough. I do want to try the Bobbi Brown one because I feel like I would like that. Okay, don't water eye because I cannot mess up this makeup. I always put a little bronzer across the bridge of my nose because it helps to make me look more tanned. And don't worry you all, the look will come together when I have on blush and everything of the sort. And I think today for blush, we are going to use MAC Sweet as Cocoa. I've really been enjoying this blush. Now, someone did tell me that it's still available in the Pro Pan, um, like without the case. So I will link that down below if I can find it, but this is just the perfect nudie blush when you want to wear like a pop of color elsewhere on your face. Now my rule of thumb is to never wear too much color. Like I don't want to have a bold eye and a bold lip unless that's the look I'm going for. Now also makeup is like art. So if you want to wear bold cheeks, bold eyes, colored eyebrows and bold lipstick, definitely do that. It's just according to your preference and I like to keep it Neutral on my cheeks if I'm going in on other areas of my face. So for me, this is just a nice natural blush. I do want to do some eyeliner today. And lucky for me, my eyeliner doubles as adhesion for my lashes. So let's do that. Okay, so you guys know a few months ago I discovered the iLore Pro Magnetic Lashes. I will link my review of them on Instagram down below. And so these are the only lashes I've been using for the past like six months or so. They are just so effortless and easy. I reviewed them on my Instagram because I was sent them from the brand and I am obsessed. So I'm gonna put that on now. Now you know it must be a special occasion if I'm putting on a lash. I definitely go through phases with lashes. When I discovered these Pro Magnetic Lashes, I was wearing them every time I put on makeup. <laughs> but now I'm kind of just, give me something simple. Overall, I do love the way a lash looks. I think it gives me a little something special, specifically because very rarely do I wear eye makeup in terms of eyeshadow, so a lash just makes my eye look pop a little more. So you put three thick coats on your lashes, you let them dry in between um, coats, and then you pop your lash on. It is so simple to use. 
I always tell you guys that I know how to apply a regular lash, but this is just so much more easy. I have not gone back to a traditional lash. So I will also link these lashes down below if you are interested. I'm gonna let this dry a bit. Oh, look at that gray hair, all that good wisdom. <laughs> and I love you guys for all the support you guys give me in reference to my gray hair. It's definitely not quote unquote normal for a 30 something year old woman to embrace and not cover up her gray hair. But I am really on a journey of accepting all of me. Now that does not mean there are things I don't wanna change, such as me being in the gym and working on my health and fitness in terms of weight. Weight is something that I've always struggled with, but um, yeah, I just, I want to improve parts of me that make me more healthy physically, mentally, and emotionally. But as far as accepting flaws or things about me that are a bit different than the average person, such as 30% of my hair being gray, I'm just embracing that. And when you guys tell me that I help you embrace your gray hair, that makes me feel so nice because I do it not only for myself, but I do it for you guys as well. I want women to just accept and love themselves. Now that does not mean that I am telling all of you who have gray hair that you need to not dye it because if you want to dye your gray hair, that's totally fine. But for some of us who maybe want to embrace our gray hair, but we feel a little hesitant, I never grew up with any women role models in my life who embrace their gray hair. So I don't know, it just makes me a little happy and I smile inside when you guys tell me that I'm helping you embrace your gray hair because for me, I don't mind. It may look a little different from other women my age, but it is what it is. I'm different and I like that. I don't always get this eyeliner thing right. I just messed it up. So that's coat number two and then I will do one more coat. Let's pick our lipstick. I want to do something bright. Oh, have I showed you guys this? So I made like four or five Sephora orders, one of which included this Givenchy leather lipstick case. I just think this is so like badass and like it's leather. I love leather and lace. So I definitely love this. It's just a lipstick case. So I could wear my favorite Givenchy pink or red. I could do a purple. You know what? I think I'm doing this purple. This is the uh, Dior number 897 in Mysterious Matte. Dior matte lipsticks are so comfortable. This formulation is great. I also like the color. So we're gonna do that for lips. I don't know, it's summertime and your girl is ready to have all the popping bright colors. I love my nudes. You guys saw in my last Get Ready With Me, I purchased the Patrick Ta Lipstick in Oshi Single. Patrick Ta lipstick formulas, <sighs> they're so amazing, you guys. I purchased this because I was looking for a new nude. I'm always on the prowl for a new nude, and this is the perfect warm tone nude for my skin. I do have to use a brown lip liner, but ooh, once it's blended in, it just looks so nice. I will pop a picture on the screen and show you guys what it looks like. Also, the packaging. I mean, Patrick Ta, I'm here for it. I have a few other lipsticks that are now in my Sephora cart and other items from his line because you guys told me you actually loved his line. I didn't really previously know a lot about him, but that lipstick is fire. That was actually um, a sponsored video I did with Glamai. And so they actually picked that lipstick for me and it was such a winner. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm also doing a little staycation with the BF for my birthday. So we're just gonna go to a hotel, I don't know, downtown Buckhead, wherever, and sit by the pool and relax. <sighs> that is my favorite thing to do. That's what I'd be doing if I could go on vacation, but because I'm not going on vacation, that's what we're gonna do. And I don't know what all is planned for the day, but I'm really excited. So that's coming up soon and I can't wait for that. Staycations are the new vacation for me until I take my first real vacation again. But until then, I'm living for a good staycation, darling. I wanna touch up the eyeshadow. I just feel like every look I do looks the same. Hmm, oh well. <laughs> 
Okay, so I have my three layers on. Let's apply the magnetic lashes. I love these, you guys. So this literally just popped into place. I did forget to put my mascara on, so I will pop it underneath when I'm done. But you guys, these are just so simple to apply. I love them. So when you guys ask me if they're really that great, they really are. If you can apply liquid eyeliner, and as you can see, mine is not perfect, you can apply these. They're just so simple. Now they are like more expensive than the Ardell lashes that I would wear, but for simplicity, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some mascara on the underside of my lashes and my lower lash line. Cause I forgot to do that. I always forget. I just feel like it helps your lashes blend better. Okay, so here are the eyes. You guys, like lashes, they just do it for me. The Dior lip, let's put her on. Ooh, I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Let me go part my hair, I'll be back. Mm. See, having your hair done just really pulls the look together. So you guys, this is the finished look. You know, a little razzle dazzle. Let me stand up and show you. Oh yes, we have a little bronze eye with a lash. We love a lash, darling. Excuse the breakouts, but we have this gorgeous fuchsia slash purple lip. I'm living for it. Wow. This is why I love getting all made up. Sometimes it's just so fun. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. This is probably really similar to what I'll be wearing on my birthday. If I can get the Hermes lipstick in time, I will change it to an orange lip because I really just envision myself with an orange look for my birthday. I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed the chit chat. I love you guys for watching. Can't wait for my birthday anniversary. And if your birthday is coming up this month, happy birthday or happy belated birthday if I didn't miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.